hello everyone welcome back to my youtube channel in this video i'm explaining about the screen sharing settings on zoom application i have already opened the zoom application you can see it on the screen and we have to go to the settings option click on settings so a new window will be opening for the settings so far we have completed general video and audio settings i will be going to the share screen option click on share screen then we'll get the options on the right side and we will discuss what is each one of them so window says when screen sharing uh, you can choose one of this if you want to share your screen full screen mean full screen full screen mode or maximizing the window or even maintaining the current size you can choose any one of them no, normally it will be full screen mode but you can just choose as per your uh, wish and scale to fit shared content to a zoom window uh, it will scale the shared screen in the zoom window so that uh, it will be easy for us to uh, easy for us to control the meeting uh, meeting control will be shown and the screen will be uh, fitting to the zoom window and here we have enabled the remote control of all application so here we are giving permission to control uh, all application remotely using the uh, zoom meeting the participants can uh, remotely control the meeting if you give the sufficient permission and side by side mode is there which means enable part uh, which which is doing like enable participants to see the shared screen alongside either speaker view or gallery view so uh, this one if you want to uh, have the shared screen alongside the speaker view or gallery view you can choose this option silent system notification when sharing desktops so um, it will uh, mute the notification when you're sharing desktop that will be a good option because there will be no interruption on the uh, desktop sharing and this the the second option it's like share application uh, when you share it will show either individual window in in default like it will be showing for example you share your chrome browser or other browsers it will be only showing that particular application particular window not only the application particular window uh, but if you are sharing all windows from an application it will show complete um, tabs on that particular application uh, normally i prefer this option this is the default option as well because uh, you don't want to share other uh, other tabs unless you choose it again but manually switch between your screen in your meeting um, and this option when I share my screen in a meeting it will automatically share desktop or show all sharing options uh, automatically share desktop means complete desktop will be shared you can see here when you have multiple monitors your primary desktop will be shared automatically that's fine primary monitor will be uh, shared but the complete desktop will be shown uh, for the of the primary uh, desktop so all sharing options you can just um, choose which sc which screen you want to share and also when i share directly to a zoom room you have a um, option when i share directly to a zoom room you can uh, automatically share desktop this will be the default option uh, but you can just make the same as in a meeting for sharing option so that you can just choose uh, the screen or the particular uh, window from an application to be shared and click on advanced let's see what are the options available here you can choose the frames per second or fps to uh, from uh, from 1 to 15 maximum uh, normally we will not keep it um, we will keep we will not enable this one because automatically zoom will adjust the frame per second but I guess if you want to have at least 15 uh fps you can just choose that one the maximum uh, is 15 you cannot go beyond that and uh, you can uh, enable the green border around the shared content so that the people can understand uh, what is being shared uh, what is the screen is shared so again the green border will be helpful use tcp connection for screen sharing it will um, improve the connection uh, but the problem is you should have a stable internet connection coming on the shared screen when others cannot see coming on the shared screen because um, normally it will be shared in UDP mode uh, but you can just use TCP connection for um, stable connection I'll choose this on uh, make sure you have um, proper internet connection 
because the interruption it will um, make the TCP connection a bit um, bit slower to uh, to present the screen. Screen capture mode you can put it on auto, but you can um, choose one of these option if you want to uh, filter the windows or like advanced share with window filtering advanced share without window filtering legacy operating systems so you just need to put on auto because it will um, choose the best option in the screen capture mode great um, now the last options we have is hardware acceleration for improving the screen sharing you can choose this option if others cannot see the content of comments on the shared screen you can just choose this option and also notions that like your drawings or um, comments on the particular window sharing screen you can just choose it if you want notions on shared screen or whiteboard keep it on because there are situations where you want to draw something on your screen shared screen or where you want to highlight something on your shared screen um, Turn this, this worth it, let me turn this option off if you cannot make annotations on the share screen but if you have a problem you just already check this one but you cannot share uh, you cannot uh, draw the annotations you cannot have an ocean window on your shared screen in that case you can just uncheck and see if that works this for just for the troubleshooting tricks so uh, there are the options available guys we'll just review one more um, you just need to go to the settings option or click on settings option and the fourth option is share screen once you click on share screen you have uh, all this option that we have discussed uh, you can just um, check one of them I'll just show you one meeting how it works like I just wanna uh, I'll make it maintain current says enable the remote control I cannot show it anyway because I don't have I will not have any participants on the meeting anyway let's see what are the settings available when you're starting a meeting I just click on new meeting and after I click on new meeting you can see here automatically join audio by computer and join. let's join with the computer audio and here you have option to share your screen and as I have told you can either share it uh, only one participant can share or you can enable the multiple participants can share simultaneously anyway let's share our screen uh, I'll just show you the whiteboard instead click on share so here you can see this is what I called an oceans window here you can uh, just draw or just erase that one and you can just draw here so this is how uh, the screen sharing is working all the participants will be able to see that particular uh, whiteboard and after you have finished you can just uh, uh, stop the screen sharing by clicking there you can also share any one of your screen like um, your browser tabs or if there is some anything else you can just share it or even the zoom application you can share it so this is basically sharing uh, the zoom window just you can stop share after you have finished so i believe this video was helpful to you guys uh, i really appreciate for watching this completely thank you again subscribe the channel click the bell icon for notification take care goodbye